All right, can I be real with you all for a second? So, two days ago, I downloaded a game on my iPad called Pokemon Quest. And I suspect, just given the demographics of this channel, a large percentage of you have heard of this game, if not, are playing it. And I have a, I have a few things to say to you. Um, and, and this is the first Pokemon video game I have ever played in my entire life. And that's not to say I know nothing about Pokemon. I think I know quite a bit, actually, for someone who hasn't ever played a Pokemon game or really seen the TV show. Uh, you know, I, I worked at a summer day camp uh, through high school and first couple years of college, and, like, the kids were always just, like, hyped up on this Pokemon crack and just, they're just, you know, just insane. Um, and then if you're just aware of pop culture at all, right? I mean, you osmosis a lot of Pokemon. Uh, so anyway, I was playing this video game, and uh, I think... You know, at, you know, as I was playing it, I became more and more infuriated. And the, the part that was infuriating to me wasn't so much, you know, it wasn't, it wasn't that I was like running up into a, into a boss level that I couldn't beat or, or I couldn't, um, you, know, you know, my Pokemon kept dying or going back to little Pokeball things. No, no like, like I got more infuriated the more I won at the game. And I, th I think the reason for that is because the more I want it, the more I felt like a responsibility. It's like, oh, oh, I'm doing well. I have to go back and check in my, you know, my iPad every three hours and 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 go on a quest or whatever the the, the, the stupid things where you go and watch your Pokemon run around. Uh, and the game, the game is dumb, right? Like Pokemon, Pokemon is one of those games that just tries to uh, allure you and and attract you with with just having so many options and colors and flavors. It's a, at its core, especially this version, I guess, is a really uninteresting game. Um, like, like just, you know, droll and dull and boring and there's nothing, there's nothing really interesting happening here. It's, you're playing, it's like, play, it's like, uh, it's very much like a slot machine, right? Because in that game you have, you cook your little food and you watch which Pokemon comes by. And, oh yeah, you won this Pokemon. Hooray, good for you. Um, and so, Pokemon sucks. Come at me, internet. Uh, this is, this is all I really have to say. It's such a bad, like, like, interactive experience. Not, not just for me, but I think for humanity, right? Like, this is a game where if, if what you really design in a game is to have something where you need a responsibility, something that you feel like you need to check every couple hours, and you don't want to be terribly interesting or terribly ho much hold your attention. In fact, there's a whole auto mode, right, where you, you log in your Pokemon game, you select, you select the level you want to do, and just hit auto, right, and do nothing. Um, you just watch your game play for the next two to three minutes. Um, like we're talking, we're talking like really shitty game design from like from like an interactive, interesting, you know, kind of perspective. And yet it's so popular. Like yet it's a th it's an institution unto itself. It makes me it just makes me sad and infuriated, infuriated, and I don't know. Humanity, you know, when when the robots do finally take over humanity, is it such a great loss? Like what did we lose? You know, just a bunch of Pokemon. Anyway, all right, so let's do Go, a far more interesting game, I think, for humans and robots alike. Uh, although I will, I will honor the, because the, <laughs> I uninstalled this game, you know, a day and a half after I installed it. I will uh, memorialize, you know, my game uh, when, today because we'll refer to black as Pikachu and we'll refer to white as Squirtle. And so if you don't know what those things are, good for you. First of all, you're fantastic if you don't know what Pikachu or Squirtle are. Um, I kind of want to know what your life has been like up until now. Uh, but that's how we'll honor them. All right, rant over. Let's do go. Let's get Leela going. Oh, if you don't know what we're doing, we're doing... Uh, if you don't know what you're doing, just go watch the other two videos. Especially, I think the second one of, of the Professor Leela series. I think the second one's better than the first one. I think I really liked that game. Uh, go watch those videos instead. Get out of here. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's, let's... There we go. All right, let's get some moves on the board. <clears throat> and already, uh, Black is doing opposing three fours, which uh, I like every once in a while. I think it's I think it's fun. White uh, four four and a three four facing your opponent's stone. Again, this is a much more common formation for Black because uh, you're making the conflicting side of the board bigger um, for your opponent uh, to take that move first. Does your opponent no? Oh God! Oh, this is a game between two five Qs. Pikachu and Squirtle are both five Q. Uh, just like the other games, and I really, I've, I've actually really enjoyed the five Q level a lot more than I thought I would. I think after the first game or before the first game, my intention was to like do these at a bunch of these Professor Leela series at a bunch of different skill levels, 
um, and just see what happens. But I've I've just really been, you know, enjoying the the five Q uh, level because on one hand it plays enough pre predictable moves where we can be excited for when like Leela and the five Q agree, and on the other hand, the five Qs is just just it's it's like it, it's like it a it a bad enough level where anything can happen like you can like an eight we, we've seen in game two i think right it was like an 80 20 in favor of one player suddenly get turned around and flip the other way within like three moves and so anyway uh yeah this is this is not normal direction um at all lila says it's mostly fine like it's still more or less 50 50 um just very straight direction and white doesn't respond. All right, so now now things are... I should really look at these games before I just pull them randomly off KGS. I did make sure, uh, you know, none of, the, none of the five Qs that have been featured uh, so far are the same five Q. These are all different players each game, so... And I don't know, I don't know anything about them. I don't know their styles, so these are, these are just truly random internet five Q people. All right, this approach move is generally terrible. Like, don't play this move. It is asking black. You're, once black does, this stone really needs another move to settle. And then black will get to play the first move over here, most likely at C6, because, uh, in, in that, I shouldn't say because, but, and that's really good because um, black will already have this Shamari enclosure facing this open stone. Um, now, this is a very human move, right? Human actually... Lila says humans would play this one first, which I think is fine, too. I, you know, I, my, my, my really only professional go teacher was Yulin Yang. Um, and, and he taught me, you know, the axiom of, of, you know, when your opponent does a weird move, you have to respond <laughs> um, in order to get a good result. If you don't, your opponent will... You know, that weird move will go unpunished. And so playing here directly feels like we're not punishing it. So I, I, like, like me in my mindset, um, my opponent played a bad move. I have, to, I, have to, I have to make my good shape immediately. Doing anything else is an advantage for my opponent. So for me, this is, this, is the point, this is the place where I feel like I intuitively need to play, would want to play, and have been taught to play. Uh, what? It, no. Uh, black. Oh, Pikachu. Pikachu, what are you doing? Just E17 is perfect. Just play there. Um, yeah, it's, like, this is great. <laughs> uh, yeah, and I kind of like this move for white now. Uh, oh, that's a big truck going by my house. All right. Um, white plays another weird move. All right. So, this is just... Throw your hands up in the air. Leela really likes black already, right? If, if Leela... What? Oh, Leela. <laughs> Leela wants black... Oh, Pikachu to throw a stone over here. I just, I just throw this entire left-hand side of the board into, into alternating chaos. Look, black, white, black, white, black, white, black. Um, and not, locally, this is a great move. Uh, I would I still have a hard time not playing this one. What is it? E17? E17 is its second choice. Eh, it says it's um, just over one and a half percentage points behind it. Oh, that truck's backing up right at me, right in my window. Oh, man. Okay, it's turning. Okay. Let's see what black does. Uh, is this is just a weird direction. <laughs> like, neither of these players just, like, have a clue where the shape points are. Um, like, I, yeah, like, n none of these moves make sense. All right, let's, let's just go with it. Sure. Black, I guess, is saying, I'm going to make a base over here and put pressure on this stone. Okay. That's fine. You do you, bro. Uh, white kicks. This, I think, is good. Right? Did Lila like this move? Is this... Or is Lila just... No, Lila, Lila seems to legitimately like this move. Yeah. Um, now that... Now that uh, we already have a stone here, we can just build this side. And so kicking, I think, is fine. Just build it directly, and then hopefully um, black will feel compelled to make a base down here, and that'll let us move out our white stone. We have a plan. I'm not sure it's the best plan, but I think this is a this is a this is a plan. That's not a move. Here, let's talk about this. Um, 
so if you play j2, or j, j3, white's going to come on f4 and become very strong both in the corner and have a lot of influence towards the side. And black doesn't really have a base. Black needs to add another move, probably over here at m3, um, to really make a base. And meanwhile, your f3 stone is, you know, kind of left for dead. You can save it, but it's 50-50 who gets to um, play the next move down here. So when Black Tanuki series saying putting a base over here is much more important than not. And the reality is there's no, there's no reason to have this like black base shifted to the right. Like there it's it, it'd be better just to stand, let white play, and then make a nice two stone wall with a one with a three space extension, that kind of base. So this is don't do this, kids. White should just play immediately on top. Yep, Lila and I are in agreement. And actually, yeah, I didn't even read this over here, but if you look, uh, Leela says white to play here, and then again, black makes the base this way. But again, these two stones have... There's no reason for them to be here rather than over here. Like, it's the same. So why give up anything? So very... Oh, it's, this is okay. This is okay. This is a little bit defensive. Um, and there's no reason to be because we have a stone out here. So we really, we really want to build influence towards the stone. Um, so that's why f4 is better. Just because this left hand bottom quadrant can get really big. Uh, okay, m3 is still what I would play. Leela says to play f4 though. Hmm. I'm not sure if, oh, I, okay, I think, yeah, okay. That's, that's, this is a good, um, moment, I think, to look at. Because white didn't come on top, when black pit plays f4, this is kind of like Mii, for black to then um, play g2 and settle this way, or for black to come over here. Um, and so I guess that's another thing, when white, when white doesn't play f4, it actually gives black options, which is interesting, and I wouldn't have thought about, because again, I don't see the situation very frequently, right, when white already has a stone over here. You do see this, um, but usually, again, when white just wants the territory and has no vested interest in what's going on over here. But we do, because white has a stone. Mm. Yeah, we're saving a stone prematurely. Prematurely. Uh, all right, Leela says this to Tanuki. I'm pretty sure these, there's no way these players are Tanukiing at this point. Um... Although, although, I mean, to me, Tanuki mix is starting to make a lot of sense. Because, um, because mainly because I can't find a move over here I like uh, to continue. Like, like G two is is locally a good point. Like, this is a very big move, but it's not needed yet, and it's not even not even clear um, if you know if and how we're going to make this group run to up upseat its base. Um, G2 would be much more interesting once this side of the board gets a little more defined. Um, and we know we know what eye space black does or doesn't have and what kind of thickness we have to attack it with. So, yeah, this is one of the situations where you tanuki because you can't find a good move. At least that's how I interpret it. Lilo wants to play here. Again, there's no way this is happening. Uh, white plays there. This, this is way optimistic. Um... The difference between just playing f4 and e5 directly is very large because in this case, we effectively um, <clears throat> play a move that does a lot of similar things as f4, except f4 also threatens to capture the f3 stone. Um, and so we've essentially played two moves to do the work of one, right? We've, we've, we've forced black to run out here, um, but it's it took us two moves to do it. Um, and meanwhile, black can still shoulder hit and invade and, and reduce this territory, so um, this is very optimistic. Uh, in the last Lila, Lila, Professor Leela game we did, uh, the players were both very third-line oriented, like super pessimistic. Uh, I think I may have shouted that they both need therapy and, for, and should seek help for depression at various points in the game. Um, the, this is not these two players' problems. These These two players... Oh man, they're just. Um, I haven't I haven't quite figured out their 
They're person. They're like Pokemon. You know, they're just they're just like all over the map with like, and they make no sense. <laughs> That's what they are. All right, black. Uh, yeah, M3 is still a really nice point, although Leela's decided that it likes Q5 better. How much better? Uh, half percent better. Uh, it's too slow. All right. Once black makes this exchange, watch just Tanuki. They're, they're like, like, they're, you know, um, very slow move. Look at these, the over concentration of these four stones. They were still in the early game. Look at all this activity in the upper left hand corner, the openness of the right and the top. Does white connect? Oh, let's not have white connect. Let's, let's, we're having a good day today, right? No, and why would you connect that way? What? No, no. This, your point, now you just, why, why would you ever connect this way? Like, you're gonna fight a, co you, like, like you, this is the type of shape you make when you're gonna like threaten to make a co down here, right? If, if black blocks at, at uh, each one, right? So this is, this is, this is a for, for end game purposes. We're nowhere near the end game, and man, this D2 point, that is some bad Aji for white. Like, as black, I would just probably take that immediately. <laughs> um, actually, I wouldn't take it immediately. Something over here just to make sure I can't be attacked. Um, but, yeah, this is this is awful. Yeah, and actually, play, playing a move like, like D2 and then B4, and leaving that elephant eye jump, that's a very nice combination. Um, yeah, just, uh, so this, this is a, t this is leaves just really bad Aji in your corner. In your corner, you've been playing fifth line, uh, a fifth line move to defend it. So you have already really were optimistic in defending it. You can't leave Aji behind, um, since you played a move like the five, five point. Silly Squirtle. All right, let's see, does Black make a base over here? Hello? No, we're going to just throw the left-hand side into more disarray. Hey, that's that's the theme of the game, man. These are just little Pokemon just running around, just shooting shit in the forest for no reason. Uh, sure, sure. I still like E17 as a point for black. Like, this is, you know, just makes black stones all work together. Um, this, is, this is optimistic, but we have corner Aji. I would just test the Aji before playing this. Yep. Okay. Leela, her immediate reaction is to play here, although she's starting to do some work on this E17. Watch this E17. Oh, no, got demoted again. Uh, ooh. Oh, wow. Things are flying. E17 has been promoted to the top candidate move. There we go. Yeah, that's, that's a nice shape. Again, I wouldn't have invaded here. I would have just played this directly a move ago. I think this move was premature, um, especially without having taken this peep. Um, and here's the other thing. If, if we play 17 and get this white stone to run out, we might be able to get another couple of black stones in here for free um, before we see eight. And then when we see eight, then this stone is like, oh shit. And we have a lot of momentum. Right now, it feels like white has momentum because we haven't made white commit to this stone. Uh, but, <clears throat> oh, that's usually not a good exchange. <laughs> and... This is this is very pig-headed. Like I'm just gonna run out. Not not flexible. Not showing any flexibility. Um, this making this exchange actually helps this G17 stone a lot. Um, yeah. And once we do this, we're we're saying yeah, we're gonna get out. Um, but man, I would have really liked to do more things in the corner. Like like before we just poke and jump out. Um, we had so much more opportunity to make a mess down here, and now it's starting to feel a little bit late. Yeah, Leela's starting to come around to this conclusion, I think. On Leela, actually, the favorite move is F6, but it, she's done no work on it. Um, yeah, F6 does look cool if it works. C5, yeah, Leela's back to this move. D2 is still on the list, hanging around. <laughs> it's risky, though. D2 is getting very to the point of being very risky. Um, but we can still do it. All right, uh, let's see what Pikachu does. Pikachu, yep, just gets out. Um, yeah, yeah, and so now... Whew, 
this whole left-hand side that was in disarray is still in disarray. Because white, ha you know, black made white a lot stronger now. These three stones, not a big difference in strength. So yeah, Leela's cheering on the C14 point. Um, also the C17 point here. She hasn't done a whole lot of work on, but is hanging around. Um, I think and basically white's playing over here. We have to do something with these three stones. Um, playing a really soft move, like out here, maybe like G11 or G10 is probably not good enough. Um, we need to we need to define some shapes over here. We need to do something much more severe. And I agree. Hey! Oh my God! Oh Squirtle! Let's let's take a celebratory drink. Oh. Fighting spirit. All right, so we're we're fully embracing this disarray. It's like, look, just you got you just got to catch them all. Look at all these little individual stones as separated. Oh, black. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna jump out. Uh, okay, okay. Similar. Yeah, this this move. Yeah, I mean, I mean, uh, Lila's like already reading this, right? Like, first of all, I would, in my own game, I'd spend a long time just looking at this move. This is the move White really wants to play. And after this move doesn't work, I'd look at this move. <laughs> um, and I think this move actually works. It's not, it's not terrible. Let's see. Lila has it up at D14. Actually, Lila it says the can it's coming back around to be the top choice. Uh, let's see what Lila thinks will happen. Uh, push up, Hane. Uh, cut on top, extend, extend. Uh, push through, or I'm confused now because these stones aren't here yet. It's the problem with these Leela di diagrams. You can't click on what? What just happened? Oh, Leela came up with a different variation of what she thinks will happen. Leela, Leela has decided differently. Leela, Leela, after doing all that, has decided that um, Black shouldn't fight so hard and instead take this exchange where White gets the corner and Black. That's what Leela has decided. Um, there's no chance that <clears throat> no chance that any of that is happening. I want to look at this D16 variation though. Oh my god! I really wish they'd had a feature. Um, yeah, I can't select individual moves um, to go down that line one by one at a time. This D16 move is is the most interesting to me, and the move that. Um, I think it's it's like a it's one of those vocabulary moves that I don't have this move firmly enough in my vocabulary in this shape um, when your opponent is is hemming you in with this uh, kosumi um, to actually just attach to this stone all right because your opponent will cover uh, and you need to find a way to get compensation um, which you can do at c17 like like this move cover c17 um, is very nice is very nice. Uh, or even even in some circumstances, I don't think it works in this one, right? We play here, white covers. You can extend uh, and cut. So, yeah. Actually, also, there's this Hane. You have to read out that. All right, let's see what our, our two Pokemons do. This way, that way. That's a weird move. I... Mm, interesting. Hmm. All right. How genius of an idea this is. <laughs> and it's actually kind of hard. Because if we know white can push up here and fight... Um, no, this is just a bad move. Yeah, because if we're, if, we're, if, if we're already planning to push up here, then this is a really bad exchange to make. Right, because it just helps black's shape and liberty so much. Um... Yeah, I, and, and it's even to the point where, like, Leela has concluded... I don't know, but Leela... So, but, yeah, but here's, here's the thing, right? Here's why here's why I'm confused. Um, Leela thinks it's a bad result, or not 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 an ideal result for Black to just connect. It's, it's, it's a winning result, but it's not the best result. Leela thinks it's better to actually just let this connect up and then just come after the G17 uh, stone, which I kind of buy, which I, which I think works in this situation. I think if, if this these two stones were in different spaces, it'd be more correct to keep these things very violently split and keep fighting. 
Uh, okay, here we go. We're gonna, we're gonna keep the them split and violently fighting. Does white turn? What? No. 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 No, no, no. This, this is not a thing. Black won't respond to this. Black will just play over here now. No, Black responded. This is the violent fight side. Over here, this is only violent if Black wants it to be violent. Black wants it to be very violent. Uh, Pikachu is it's charging up or something. Whatever a Pikachu does. Um, all right, fight on, fight on. Okay, all right. Win percentages, Leela still really likes Black. Um, although I feel, I don't, I don't, I wouldn't feel as confident with Black, right? Like, it looks like if we jump, white's going to jump. We can't attack white anymore. We have to go to this side. But white will either be to take the corner or link this up. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I'm not fully agreeing with this analysis. That this is so, such good sequence. All right, black played that one. That was similar, right? What was the, I think Leela analyzed, must have analyzed this one. F12. Yeah, very similar. Half percent. Okay. Um, I'm interested in knowing... Is this... Is this... If we jump here... Is the next black move so severe... That we have to play over here for white? Like, is that what's happening? Or is it just calculated that black can't actually seal us in? And that's what makes this move not as good. Um, this would this would be my instinct to play this side first. Um, in terms of reading, we have to read out. Well, if we if white plays here, what happens when black plays at e15? When black plays at f14, uh, black will probably do a shoulder hit. Oh uh, no, that's, that's overplay. Um, or just e16. It's probably good for black. Hmm. Uh, G10. What's the difference? Uh, significant. But at this point, Lila's really still just digging on black. Yeah, that's my move. That would be the natural move. Alright. Uh, bad exchange. <laughs> that's not necessary. Bad exchange, bad exchange. Because uh, black just made this mistake again you know, of making white stronger here, which means white will be able to fight better right in here. So maybe we lost a percent. Okay, yep, that's, that's move. Yeah, white has this attachment. This is type of thing I'd expect. Hane, do we just extend and link up? Sure looks like it. Oh, oh yeah, nice Tetsuji here. Um, just throw this stone in. It's really pain for black to capture it. White will get a bunch of free stuff. Or just, you know, make life in the corner. Uh, here we can look at the C7. No, that's... Oh my god. We played 30 moves in this variation. Yeah, Lila also thinks the pro move is there, in addition to it being her own move. Uh, too simple. Yeah, because we can get so much more free stuff. Here, let's store this position, and let's show you some things. Um, so, black can try pushing each of these ways, however, this way... Actually, no, this way doesn't work at all, because there's just this Atari, so we have to push this way. Just have to extend. If we push again... Um, it's not clear. Uh, yeah, well, here, we'll just play this. Yeah, it has this move. It's not entirely clear to me what happens to these three stones, but... Let's see what Leela thinks. If we play simple moves... And Hane here. Oh, make... Oh, threaten eyes. And then come back here? What? Oh. I want to play this one. This one not work? Lila wants to play this one first. I guess to poke at that. Do we not need to play this move? Is this just not big enough? Hmm. Well, either way... <laughs> um, this is definitely turning the fa game in terms of favor to white. Um, I still kind of think we need this move. Mm. 
but okay. Let's go back here. So anyway, that, that C17 move, this gives you a lot of flexibility. Yeah, black can fix that. All right, gotta, gotta cut. Oh, we're gonna poke at all the things that shouldn't be poked at. Still have time, no, no, that's not right. Okay. Nope, nope, that is groveling. You are a groveler. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Squirtle. Squirtle, why have you let me down? Um, Lila's actually already kind of desperate, B18. Uh, actually, it's moving down already. Each, it's, these moves keep changing. Hmm, let's, let's, let's have Professor Lila take a moment to think. Yeah, maybe just here. Let's try to make a second eye down here. But this white group is very grovelly. Oh, no, we're back to B18. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, there is, we can make an eye down here, actually. It does potentially injure this stick, but... Oh no, it's saying don't make the eye, it's saying give up the eye. Help the stick first and then make an eye over here. Hmm. So I don't, I don't think wh white, we can always live, right? <laughs> can we? Or we can at least make co. Um, but... Yeah, F F18 is pretty sente. So I think we can always live right there. And if not, again, we have this sort of, um, you know, we, we can press here and then make eye space over here. So, like, white is okay, but black is getting a lot of strength on the outside. Okay, sure. Uh, okay. All right, we can make, actually, we can make this exchange first, which is good. We should make this exchange. Because then, again, that helps us this way. Okay, black made shape. Nope, still not going to make that exchange. What is this? White thinks this is sente? That's not how sente works. I'm this So hold on, let's 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 look at what look look at our graph. So this whole sequence, right, when white couldn't take advantage of having all this strength and having the corner surround, right? White was never able to throw a stone in the corner. Um and so so white, you know, white was able to do okay. <laughs> Right for a while, and it looked it looked pretty even, and when white didn't throw the stone in the corner, black, Lila, according to Lila, that is, black took this huge lead, right in terms of win percentage. Um, but then, uh, when, you know, after white gets life, you know, we're 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 back to what actually, Lila says this is. Oh, all right, yeah. <laughs> so this move, right, this one. You know, you can see a spike right up towards black, right? This is just another one of those kind of game-ending, game-losing moves where we just pass. But then, one move later, black responds. And I don't know why, right? This is, I still don't see this being sente. And so we just give it right back. So you can see just spike up, spike down. And then if we go forward again, Leela gets to make the first move there. And already... Not Leela, sorry, Squirtle. <laughs> Black peeps this again. All right, so we're still we're still okay. Right, I'm I'm just having too much fun watching this graph. So after all these exchanges, Black is still having a nice game. <laughs> White has very little territory. Um, so does Black for that matter. But there's still a lot of Aji. That D2 Aji is still looming. Oh man, um, yeah, nice move here just to. Build the top, fix the defect. Yep, I like to move around here. In my own game, if I was being honest, I'd probably look at more like J12. It'd be a little bit harder for me to justify K12. This is the move I need to look at. Actually, I'd also probably look at. I wouldn't look at. I would probably look at J12, and I'd look at K11. Um. Oh, no, but I'd also look. I also. Yeah, but this is kind of safe. Yeah, yeah, actually, so this is um, an interesting point that Leela found. Um, 
Yeah, I'd, I'd actually also be really tempted to Tanuki and just play over here. Does it have Q? Neither will ever look at Q5. Not really. Oh wait, down there. I just saw it. Q5. Well, Lila does like Q5 quite a bit, but not very much work done. Yeah, I would... Um, P816 is also big. O16. Something just to balance off this thickness. Hmm. Okay. Uh, very defensive. Very defensive, but I, you know, it works. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. This is a cool move. Uh, too slow. Too slow. This actually doesn't do much. Like, it kind of threatens one stone. Uh, since Black will just connect to this one now and leave that one alone. All right, Black, don't respond. Black, you responded. Yeah, I really like this peep. Cause that, uh, yeah, it's like it's like we can basically guarantee life for this group, or at least safety. I shouldn't say life. I should say safety for this group in Sente, right? With this move, um, and then we can go do bigger things on the board. This move, one space jump from two stones, so slow. So slow. Does black also play a slow move? No, nope. hey, that's a nice point. That's no, a little bit too late. <laughs> we want to take this and then go do something else, I think was the idea. All right, white, you're out. What do you do? What do you do now that you're out? Do you play in this corner? Because that seems to be where all the black stones are facing. Um, Lila has a little bit of a, a thing for this move, which I kind of see, right? <laughs> Potentially scaring Black's connection and maybe building something over of, of uh, Squirtle's own a home for Squirtle to go and live and make a million points. Uh, okay, we're just gonna run into that stone directly. Great. There's no real reason to. Um, yeah, I like that move. I like this idea. Oh man, especially after after we've invested this bamboo joint here. So we're extra strong. Have to take advantage where you're strong. No, we're just going to keep pushing from behind here. Okay. Yes, all right. First person Tanuki is white. And I think Leela appreciated that. Look at that. Look at that uh, win percentage drop. Now we're not, we're not, now we're close to a 50 50 game, but. All this stuff you're doing is nothing <laughs> like this is nothing you guys are just passing back and forth and gives an advantage to the first person to do something you know that's not nothing cool all right that's fine uh good even sure we'll play out something like a joseki that's not like a joseki yep nope not not a move not a move black should just play here um, this, this gives white actually a lot of momentum. Yeah, even if white plays this way, we can, we have this shape point now on P18 later. We're going to come out to P, to Q14 to press, or we're just going to live as bluntly as possible. Uh, yeah, we should, we should press this a little bit further first. Uh, okay, wrong shape, but good idea. Oh, that's an optimistic move. Black. Oh. Did we read this? Like, Black can play this as long as this group is in danger. But the moment that it's not in danger... Uh, you know, why, this, this, this is a really annoying defect to have. Like, really annoying. That attachment at R14 is just looming. Can White even just play it immediately? Uh, no, <laughs> because this group is not safe. <laughs> Here, let's load the variation. What? No, I, that's this one. Yeah, because black will just peep here and connect, cut, and looks like, yeah, the black wins the whole corner. White does get a wall on the outside. But that's that's not something we really want to give black. It's a little bit of overplay, but man, we get one more move just helping any of this. And Oh no. My Aji. 
No, I was so hungry. And now it's gone. Oh, White. White, what are you doing? We're now at an 80-20 game. Oh, oh, this is getting out of hand. White's going to be able to connect, but White's not going to have any points. Oh, let's mourn our, our fellow uh, water-type Pokemon. Mm. Yep. What? Wait, wait, what? Whoa, 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 I didn't mean to go that far back. Yeah, so here, white really should have pressed down a little more severely. Be able to get safety in Sente. But after here, black plays this move. Now, this is a weird move. <laughs> I don't know what black is trying to do. Mm. Especially since there's a really big move here at Q11 or Q10. One of these two. Um, feels like proper shape to finish building the side over here. This, this is just... <laughs> you know what the funny thing is, though? Is Leela doesn't want to respond to this. Leela wants to play here. I don't, I, and see, I don't, I don't buy that. Like, I don't think that's right. Like, this just feels, this is such, it's so cold. Like, your opponent plays a very weird move that gives you an advantage immediately. Like, I have to take the advantage over here first, you know? Uh, okay, white, white plays human. Like, if anything, we verified that both these players are not using Leela to cheat during the game. But we're back to a 25-75 game. Oh, what is it? Well, I didn't, I didn't yell at this uh, Pikachu long enough here. What is this? Like, if you're going to play a move over here, you have to play S3, right? Like, no, no, this is, don't listen to Leela. S4 is wrong. S4 is wrong. I'm not sure why it thinks, why does it think so highly of S4? What? This is broken. This move is bad. We broke Leela again. This thing happens sometimes when you, you play a game in it and it like obsesses over like one of the moves that gets played in the game and it starts convincing itself that it's good. I don't know why. Maybe someone on the internet can explain that. All right, so this this case, yeah, I like this move here. It separates this really now apparently heavy black group that we made heavy without really good reason. Um, white's gonna follow though. Good, white, you know, good for you, buddy. This is even bad direction, right? White should play something like N3 at least if you're going to build a base here. This this corner base is actually really quite heavy. Yeah, because exactly, this O3 move um, it makes a not a live corner for white, amazingly. Um, so it makes S4 look actually good. Yep, O3 is the move. Although Lila says Q10 is better, but Q, or now it's saying D2 is better. Sure, I think D2 has been good this entire game. Um, yeah, I would play. I would play here without too much hesitation. Like Black's strong enough to extend and not have to fix later. Um, this is this is my move. Just keeps the corner more or less dead. White will have to run out. We'll be able to build a base over here. Take territory. Not as much territory as as we could have. Um, but it's more that white will become uncomfortable and have no points, right? If this group can't make any points and can't live on its own, and we still have D2 and B4 over here to just reduce this corner to nothing, uh, I mean, we're looking at a white player, or sorry, we're looking at a Squirtle with a total number of ter territory on the board of about 15. Like, that's, that's like Squirtle's entire territory. That's amazing. Uh, black pushed this way. Bad direction. Bad direction. It's trying too hard to build this. We just need to build it naturally by attacking. Good. Yep. Honey. Good. Double honey. Double honey. Gotta do it. Gotta do it. Do we do it? Leela's liking it more and more. Turn it redder and redder. Here we go. No. No. Uh, I'm so thwarted. 
Yep, black should play just to move to link everything. No, nope, black's gonna push. Look, oh man, oh, okay, white jumps in. All right, here we go, here we go, this is something. This move is really big. Um, furthermore, white got way more than like six points in the corner. Um, so all this pushing didn't really get black anything. Like, the black was just thinking really optimistic thoughts about coming back and making something really big over here. Uh, but white's jumping in. So it's still an 80-20 game, it's still an 80-20 game. Oh, so much fear and cowering. Yeah, first, when your opponent, Tanukis, and is going to attack, quote-unquote, your weakness, you have to play the forcing moves first. You have to build up more strength. Ah, uh, such cowering. This is this is a great exchange. Why exchanging this for this? So good. Um, Lila wants White to play here. Um, I'd be tempted to come back over here just to make this shape, but... Um, yeah, I think this is this is exquisite move as well. Well, Lila now wants to make this exchange first. Is it really? Kinda? No. Nah. Okay, it's going back. Yeah. All right, I like this move. Uh, okay, we're going. We're going deeper. Sure. Oh, such cowering. Really slack move. Black needs to honey or just something stronger. This is just. Giving white everything. Hane. Ah, oh, too slack. Hane. Hey, there it is. All right. Yep. Hane back. Gets his life in the corner. Exposes the cut. Double Hane. Expected. Whoa. Yeah, this, this in this case, is actually better. Um, do we need to fix... Lila says no, though, again, M4 is a lot of points and safety. Like, M4 is really big. Ah, uh, all right, this type of connection. You Q players. This type of connection. Um, <laughs> if you play at M5, which now we've convinced Lila is in its top two move candidates, um, <laughs> White will Hane here, get a bunch of free stuff, and then come back and peep here and get more free stuff. Like, you're leaving way too much free stuff on the table. I know it, you think it fixes everything, and it does from, like, a very, very technical perspective, but M4 also fixes everything. Because if White tries to cut, you're gonna play O7 and just make eyes while you're netting the stone, and you're gonna injure the three... Like, you, you have so many counters that... Um, you know, you don't, you don't have to literally connect to this stone or this stone, right? There's a lot of ways to defend that are much more efficient. Okay. Fixing that way, yep. Yep, Lila agrees. Play M2. Just take, yeah, there it is. Uh, okay. Here, though, Lila's like, screw this. We're done here. <laughs> no, we're gonna, yeah, yep. If black extends, then you get this peep. It's more, is this free stuff on top of free stuff? Good move. All right, that's a good move. We should still peep first. But that's good. Oh, this, I'm not, this is an overplay, right? This descent is just sente. So look, look at this, the, this combination, right? Of letting white crawl here, this very poor connection. When white hanes, black cuts, we've thrown this game from like an 80-20 back to like a 60-40. White still got a lot of work to do, but... Bad shape, one bad shape and overplay. Well, it will move, you know, the game, the your game, your chances of winning the game, you know, forty percent, right, from eighty twenty to sixty forty. Oh no, wrong move. Just descend. Just just descend. Descending works, right? Because if you descend here, that threatens to capture these two. And once you're descended, this these five stones are actually quite strong. You just play a move out here and just declare the stone dead, or even play over here. I mean, it's just, it's just got nowhere to go. Yeah, no, no reason. This descend, if you can find the descend, you can still do this. Oh, he found it! White! The dagger! Look at this. Look at this. Black, are you going to defend your two stones? If you don't, it's, these are pretty big stones, actually. Um, because white still has this group that's a problem, and the black corner isn't completely alive. So does black does if black runs these two stones out right now? I have I have a really bad feeling for black. Don't do it, man. Okay, that's a terrible way to defend, but you did. Yeah, push an Atari. Okay, or do that. That's fine. You can do it this way too. Although wait, can you do it this way? No, no, no. Wait, it's it's much better to do it the other way. This way is not as good. 
yeah, yeah. Because look at this shape, right? We could have had, um, like, like at this point, after black connects here, black can come back and take a stone. There's nothing else we can do here. If we push first, whoops, before this point, if we push first and then black blocks here, then we get to Atari, and then black doesn't, you know, black has this stupid clump of stones, and we have this honey stone that's free. We can even push in further uh, again. And when black blocks us, it's black can no longer capture our two stones. So it's a very big. In both in both cases, we should also note we do get the bamboo joint. So it's not it's not like we're missing the shape on this side. It's just um, black has to fill in um, his own liberty here, his own empty. He has to fill in an empty triangle, right? And that's that's painful. Oh, look at the win percentage though. From from here on, just just even the little bit that white gets, even though this isn't the best result. That's enough to swing the game from all the way from from 60 40, from 80 20 to 60 40, and then to white is actually in the lead because of this overplay. This is exciting now. All right, all right, white, you gonna hane here and just seal these two stones in? Nope, you're gonna fix the shape. You know, if this move was sente against the corner, I would agree. But the fact that we don't have a completely alive group over here. With these two stones that are nuisance, this is this is not an important stone. What? Mm, okay. Okay. Uh, okay. Sure. That's that works. Not not. It's not the most prettiest move. It's not the best move. But you know, you're doing the right thing. You got it. You got it. Okay. No, we have to be strong. Actually, I think this move is better, isn't it? Why doesn't Lila like N9? Oh, it still wants to peep first. But N9, N9 just works, right? I'll either say N8 is better, and it still it works the same. Mm. Mm. Maybe. Uh, Lila wants to make this exchange anyway. This, because this is Sente. Yeah, so like like you guys might be thinking, look, three stones, I have to save this one stone for the Atari. Now this you can give up this stone, right? So just play that's why my eye goes to N9 is the natural shape. Hey, Leela thinks it's any of these. Um again it'd be really nice to have this Hane here. Because then we could if we have this Hane here, we could probably play something like M8 and feel pretty confident about capturing these three stones. Um but yeah, don't worry about this one stone, it's safe, especially after this uh, S eleven connection. Like this one stone if, like Black, you can you can just give the Atari up, and you can give up the whole stone and just completely surround black, and black can't do anything. Uh, okay, a little too close, very inefficient, but um, it's okay. Like black has moves to annoy us, this Hane and this here. That's why I'm thinking like N9 is better. And black's gonna try. Doesn't look like it works. How do you get this out, Hane? Honey, we just cut. Again, I really wanted this stone to be at N9. Like, do you guys see how if this stone was at N9, like, black is just surrounded and can't do anything? Like, right now, there's still things black... Like, black can't get out the three stones, but black can annoy us in a lot of ways. Hmm. All right. Oh, black's going to try, though. Ooh, see, my... I, I would just read the honey working and play it. Leela suggests jumping and that's pretty cool yeah i'm reading it also looks like it works huh so that's a nice little shift of shape and actually it really likes it hasn't done enough research yet but it actually thinks l8 at least temporarily works as well but that doesn't look good <laughs> let's ignore that m9 m8 I think M8 is significantly better than M9, but uh, this works as well. All right, so after this move, look at this. We've got a 70-30 game for white now. We've gone from 80-20 to 70-30. And that's what makes these 5Q games so amazing, right? Like, like <laughs> you know, these, these, uh, these swings are just so massive, so epic. Uh, black, that's, that's not a thing. Is it a thing? No, it's not a thing. Because this Atari isn't a real thing. Yeah, white just extends. What? 
No! Uh, actually, that's still fine. Alright, we just give up a little bit of black on the outside. This move is better. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you read this, if you look here, if you just extend his white and black captures the stone, you just cover. And you get a bunch of stones on the outside as white, and black is still dead on the inside. Like, you can give up individual stones. Um, especially if they don't even make an eye. That's only a false eye. So these are just little reading things you have to be able to do um, when you're playing. Uh, that's not a move. Do we just we just take, right? Which one do we take? I think we just take this way. Okay, but he's just going to take all of them. Okay. Super safe. Uh, yeah, now we've, we've gone from 80-20 black to 80-20 white. Wow. Wow. All right, black, do you find do you, do you find stuff to do in this corner? This is your chance, black. Look, wait, we counted like 15 points for white, like total, back here. And all of a sudden, after these captures, white gets to play this. Black plays poorly in this corner, doesn't harass white. We're already up to, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40 points plus this corner. Yeah. 40 points plus that corner. Whatever white gets. Assuming white doesn't die, because I'm not sure that white will live. Oh, black, what? This is not, this is, this is bigger. Yeah, white can peep. Nope, we're not gonna peep. We're just gonna keep fighting over this little... Yeah, this this is... This is this is the biggest part of the board. Maybe, you know, white should get this S19 exchange, but... Um, yeah, gotta play over here. Okay, we're gonna keep playing over there. I'm not interested in this, guys. You guys are boring me. Don't play this stuff. We're just taking all these little endgame. The, the players think they're an endgame, even though this corner is still... Huge. Relatively speaking. Yeah, yeah, Lila keeps saying, S19! Someone play S19! Ah, uh, that... That's a bad move. This is dead. You just died. Oh, actually, I wasn't watching... What was the spike about? What did White do that was so dumb back here? To cause Lila to have <laughs> severe doubts about the outcome. All of a sudden. Oh yeah, this move. Totally garbage. Total garbage. White is threatening to prevent black from getting four points. You're threatening to prevent black from getting four points. You're threatening. Like you're not you're not taking four points. You're threatening to take away four points. That's that's how garbage that move is. Ah, uh, okay. All right. Yeah, Pikachu, you dumbass. No, this is your moment. The, look, look, you had, look, you had this thing happening. <sighs> all right, all right. Here we go. White takes the peep. Oh my God, that would have been so much better a million moves ago. Uh, okay, black fills. What's going on here? Is it black? I don't know. All right, yeah, this move, this move. Another garbage move by White. Can black take advantage? This just. Black, actually, black, it says black to play here first. Um, I think you can respond here and just say you're dead. Like, you just you just played a negative point move. Played a negative one point. Yep. All right. Oh, my God. Look at this. We're almost back. Wait. Why doesn't it say... Where is my wind meter? It looks like the wind meter is all the way at the top, but it's still saying that this is a 80... 84, 16 game for what for uh squirtle even after this yeah, i guess blacks yeah i don't i don't, i can't i can't call this 80 percent for white without having the shape defined oh man we're gonna try to get the stone out Ooh, that's tricky does it work black just pushes here right or does that that uh, that, that works, okay. That works. Yeah, okay. So here, where are we at? Game still says 84 for white, even after all this just bullshit. Okay. But we did touch 50-50 a few times during that exchange. Uh, sure. Alright, so that exchange, not, not 
not a good exchange for that. Those are just co-threats that might be useful later. Oh my god, White plays it. White plays the corner. 80-20. Ah, that's such, such a big... What the hell, though? Right, what? The score estimate says plus two points for Black, but it's saying Black has a 25% chance to win the game. Leela, go home, you're drunk. Uh, very small. In, uh, I mean, that's not very small, but it's um, disappointing. Right, because Black could have done so many things in here in Sente. Like, this would have been nothing. Like, no points for White in Sente, minimum, if not better. Uh, yeah, Black's, Black's 5Q. Black's going to play there. <laughs> oh, Black didn't. Why wouldn't Black play there? Why are we connecting two live groups for three points? Even the 5Q move is better than this move. Uh, we're just poking at shape. Poking. Lila still is freaking out because it wants someone to play up here. Uh, we're just poking shapes. What's going on? Alright, we're... Yeah, after White gets this, you see us just drifting closer and closer to a White victory here. That's a big move. At least that one's big. That one's big. Yep, yeah, okay. Someone play over here. Oh, we're fighting a stupid Ko. This Ko is not a real Ko. Like, this is too small to be the, the thing people are... Okay, because they're not actually fighting. Uh, this works. Yeah, all right. Yep. Yeah. Uh, I should have connected first. This was a mistake. Yeah. Now I should have thrown in. Got to throw in. Um, okay, this is weird. Now we're creeping back towards black because black got to play over here first, even though black shape is wrong. Um, black still took the initiative, and so the game's pulling back closer. Um, what, what is, what are we doing? Uh, I, okay. I mean, black should just tanuki, right? Okay, fine. Keep playing. Do what you want to do. Um. Yep. That just kills things, so... This white tanuki was real bad. Oh, no, no, this doesn't kill things because white has this double, yeah, double, double Atari. Okay. White still should have thrown in first, right? Because that's just good shape to, for endgame. Not allowing this corner point. All right, so that looks pretty firmly white now. White connected. Yep. Yep, that's a big, big endgame point. What? This is nothing, nothing, nothing. You guys are boring me. Do something interesting. Connecting? It's already connected. This is one point. It's a, it's a reverse sente point, but it's one point. Oh, black. Why do you shoot yourself? Why? Why? Well, all right. What? That's a little bit stranger, but okay. Uh, this is a problem. Right? Um, like, this is a really big problem. If white, if white T15s, black can't connect, because there's this cut at S16. Like, this is a, this is an issue. White wants just to play at Q15 first. I don't know why. Because isn't T15 better? Like, isn't T15, like, a lot better? I don't... Here, let's look at the variation. Oh, wait, it's Black's move. Ha. Huh. All right, it is Black's move. Right, right, right. I see. Okay. That's why it's going to make this exchange first and then come back and fix. Got it, got it. I was looking at... I was thinking this is white. Yeah, but Black should just fix, right? This this needs a fix. In the game... Oh, he fixes. Okay. Uh, that's not a thing. This is not a move. That's That's real bad. If you make this move, like... 30 moves ago, like it's like black would win the game. Um, right now, I think it's too late. Like you're threatening to make a point. You should be playing stuff like over here. Yeah, there's no, it's, it's and black, black equally dumbed. <laughs> black should have taken advantage here. What? That's, 
more damage. Co, oh, okay. That's at least worth something. <coughs> oh. We're fighting this code. Play Someone play here? Yes, all right. Don't use it as a code right? Just connect. Okay, good. Uh, co, yeah, maybe co. Okay. Ooh, is this dirty? Can any hope for black to to do stuff? Looks no, <laughs> but scary if white doesn't respond cor correctly. White wins the co. Uh, -huh. end game, end game. Oh man. Mm. Black doesn't want to take this because he thinks he's still reading here. I don't know. So, here, let's just keep going. These are all little two-point in-game moves, except... All right, Black finally takes this one. All right, not very interesting, but the score is getting really close. And I think that's the end of the game. Nope, nope, still more game. Here, let's just go forward more. Yeah, not much left. And turn off the Leela analysis, and there you go. So in the end, white wins by three and a half. Leela estimates 4-0, because I guess it doesn't know exactly what the Comey is. Um, so white, yeah, ekes out a victory, and it's that, and, and it's actually much closer than what this graph looks like, right? I guess I guess a win percentage will always go to you know zero or one hundred. It'll, it'll never be close in the end, right? You can't have a close win percentage at the end of the game by default. But in terms of raw point score right this this you sort of feel like it creeps back towards zero so yeah so really dramatic uh turn of events here there's really two two moments right where you can just go back in the game and look and see where um, you or your opponent just screwed up right and that's one of the really nice things about using leela um, is you can find these really key moments um that ca that caused the game to happen in a certain way of course that doesn't say all the missed opportunities that happen throughout you know these areas especially where there's like just flat you know sort of like back and forth that often um keeps a lot of the more the more uh you know you know the the moments of the game that didn't get taken advantage of you know the mistakes uh, it hides them in these areas but certainly it's fun to go back and just look you know at this first time when white is playing all these sort of bad exchanges and just can't find the C17 cut, right, to turn this into something. And yeah, once once Leela realizes, oh, White's not gonna find the C17 cut, well then, uh, Black's live in the corner, huge advantage Black, right? Just poof, pops it right up. And then the other case, uh, over here, I mean, this was just kinda crazy. Black was just asking for too much to be too optimistic and when white sort of goes all out because white's losing black plays a couple bad shapes that get taken advantage of and then here's the overplay right there you can see right before it falls off this cliff or right at the moment it's starting to fall off this cliff so yeah that's kind of what this game what happened in this game you know white couldn't find a move over here and then black played over here and in this case it was whoever made the last mistake uh was the loser so you know good game between pikachu and squirtle i think they they lived up to their their pokemons pokemon pokemon i think pokemon's plural um <laughs> i like pokemons <laughs> pokewomans yeah from now on i want to call them pokewomans uh, so anyway, hopefully that was fun and you guys learned something and uh, we'll thank Professor Leela for being our special guest today and uh, We'll see you next time. Oh, and actually if you guys are at the US Go Congress because that'll this video will be Hopefully uploaded right before the Go Congress starts uh, You know come find me say hi. I'll be there and uh, Yeah, I fully expect people in the comments to say "Go oh, Congress is too expensive. I can't go and yeah, it is and um, You know there are some ways to do it cheaply uh, especially if you, you know, get some roommates and, like, uh, get creative with your housing options. Um, but, you know, and I'm also aware that we live, it's the U.S. Go Congress, and most Americans don't get more than two weeks of vacation during the year, so the idea of spending a whole week playing Go, uh, you know, using your vacation is pretty awful, <laughs> um, just from a psychological perspective. 
Um, but, you know, that's American life. So anyway, if you can do it, I'll see you there. Thanks. Thanks.